Okay, hi everybody. So, <laughs> parking issues, Wi-Fi issues. Thank you Darius for being here with your uh, camera. I almost told you to just go ahead and go home. So thank you Darius for having your fancy camera here. Um, so I wanted to talk about, um, so it's right after um, BurleyCon and, um, and I always sort of do the state of the G string in, a, in Atlanta um, in either December or November, depending on when BurleyCon falls. Um, November's meeting, no one showed up. So here we are at December's meeting. And uh, I'm gonna talk about 2018 and what things are gonna look like. But first I'm gonna start with um, Burlesque Atlanta Society's history. Real quick, um, because some of you guys don't know this. I started Burlesque, I actually looked it up, yay, because you know, I all, I've been saying, I don't know, I started it maybe, I don't know, six, seven years ago. Actually, I started in 2008. So next year marks my 10 years of running this meeting. Um, and so that's pretty cool. Um, but uh, it, it started in Manuel's Tavern. We did our meetings first off at Manuel's Tavern, then we moved it to Twain's because I wanted to have like a game aspect that nobody was interested in. Um, and then I moved it to the James Joyce because it was really close to my house and they were awesome. Um, and then James Joyce went out of business, so we moved it back to Manuel's Tavern, um, which was great. We had it up in the Eagle Room. Um, but again, we had problems with having people come to the meetings and uh, Mark Turnley, who was in charge of the Burlesque Atlanta Photographers Guild, said, hey, what if you make their, uh, make, make it a performer, uh, like a performance ability type thing? And I was like, oh my gosh, we could totally take the BurleyCon model and do um, like peer reviews. And we did that for a while and it went beautifully. Um, never had so many people come to so many uh, events and um, after a while it just sort of petered out this year it actually has definitely petered out um, which is fine because everything has to change everything has to move on um, why I started it is really important um, to me for a couple of reasons one I needed a place for us to I had just left a troop and the community was really cutthroat back then um, but for a few people, like, it was just awful, and I know we've talked about it before. Um, people would schedule things on top of other things in order to undermine each other. They would rip down each other's posters in public. Like, it was not a cute situation. And um, I had left the troop that I was a part of, and I really missed that sense of community that comes with the troop. And I thought, what better way to do that than to have a meeting of all of the troops and all of the independents and give people an ability to show their performances on stage and get feedback because that's what you get in a troop is a sense of community and feedback on per, uh, numbers that you're working on and I still think that those things are really important for this community I feel like it isn't just here it's all over the political climate what we see on the news every day the me too the women speaking out I really think we're just fucking tired and the last thing we want to do is put on a face and have people taking pictures of us and meeting the public at a time when we would just kind of want to relax and chill out, right? Um, so um, I've decided that moving forward we will still have peer reviews and we will still be open to the public but only four times a year. And otherwise, we're going to have meetings on the first Thursdays of every month, but it's going to be like a pajama party for burlesque performers only. We're going to get together, we're going to watch movies, we're going to talk about what's going on in the community, but we're not wearing makeup, we're not wearing eyelashes, and we're not putting on anything fancy, and we're not putting up the pretense of actually performing because that's tiring, and to do it for free is exhausting. And so I thought, pajamas and potlucks, why not? Pajamas and potlucks at our community center, which is Metropolitan Studios. And we all just get together and have a good time. Um, so that's what we're gonna do. As of right now, pending what the Falcons decide to do, 
<laughs> the um, performance workshop opportunities will be on the following months or days March 1st June 7th September 13th and December 7th I'm gonna open it up to more than just three uh, performance slots and I also would like to have a different MC every month if I can have that happen um, my hope is for us to just build some pillow forts and hug each other in comfortable clothes and for the burlesque community to have a space where we feel safe to talk about what's going on and I think I think that that is absolutely what we just what this community needs right now so that's what's happening with the burlesque Atlanta society meetings coming in 2018 and I'm really excited about it because I like pillow forts and I think onesie pajamas are fun so I hope you guys are excited about it um, I'm gonna do a quick rundown of what's going to be happening this month and um, Darius if you would not mind panning out to the people who want to talk about what they've got going on if they want to talk about it mm -hmm. um, however I'm starting first hang on a second and we're gonna do it in order unless you have something oh you oh, have you something can... tomorrow yes but let's go and... do you want to go first no I want you to go first oh, okay. because your stuff's tomorrow okay talk Yay. about who I'm gonna put on glasses so tomorrow here at Elliott Street Pub is, oh, and uh, my name's Shelly Schmalz. Hi. Hi. I'm with Roxy Rose Burlesque. We're a burlesque collective. Hey, can you of, say that one more time? Who are you with? Roxy Rose Burlesque. There we go. Hashtag I Roxy Rose. <laughs> and yes. we are a collective of burlesque dancers and stand-up comedians and improv comedians and all sorts of just different fun stuff who do different fun stuff with retro and neo and just all sorts of burlesque. And we love to do shows and be fun so yay um, tomorrow what we have here is a show called small secret things and it's separate from Roxy Rouse but it does involve people from the burlesque community um, Zena Zarina um, Sadie Hawkins over there is part of the of the show of the photography show as well as myself and Candida Valentina and uh, it's featuring the photography of James King as well as the artwork of Maddie Huffman and Jason Guffey who does dry tin plates which is really cool it's like this 18 uh, 1850s 1860s art form of photography really neat and the money goes to it's a it is a beneficiary airy show for crisis line and safe house of central georgia so all the artwork that's shown tomorrow tomorrow night is going to be for sale and the proceeds from the sale go to this organization that helps women get out of um, bad situations so we're very very excited about that and then and um, how much is the class is the show so it is a free show and it's it's a it's part of the castleberry art stroll um, and so our hope is that you will come and you will buy and purchase art and support the organization as a fundraiser. So we're very excited about that. Um, next week on Saturday, December 16th, we're doing a show for Roxy Raz with uh, Interfaith Family Atlanta, which is a LGBTQ and interfaith uh, promica party. So prom and Hanukkah equals promica. <laughs> and so uh, featured in that show is royalty, um, Zina Zarina, uh, Tink Tinker, um, yes, Tinker T Nantucket, and Cliffhanger will be representing that evening. I'll be emceeing and Emily Rose will be kidding. And as we also are talking about changes for 2018, which I can't believe it's 2018 already, um, Roxy Ross shows at Relapse Theater will now be every other month starting in February. So it will be February, April, and then you can kind of go down the line there. I can't think right now because it's Thursday. And, um, and starting in January, every other month, we'll be doing our ABCD shows at Laughing Spell Lounge. So we'll have more updates about things that are happening um, in 2018, but that's what I've got right now. Yes, so thank you. Okay, does anybody else have a show that they would like to talk about? Sadie? So I can mark off the things that I was gonna talk about? Hi. <laughs> Next Friday, December 15th, at Red Light Cafe is the men's room. It is 
the final men's room of 2017. It is comprised of entirely local performers and next year it's changing gears and going to be comprised almost entirely of traveling performers. Yeah. So come get a taste of some local fellows. Okay, anybody else? All right, let's see. I have a long list <laughs> of things that didn't get talked about yet. December 8th is a free Sexify class by Ursula Undress at the Metropolitan Studios. As of right now, it is booked solid. So, um, but there is a waiting list. Um, and she is planning on, shh, you're hearing it right here. First and foremost, she is planning another day in December to do a second free Sexify class. On the 14th, Monthly Craft Clinic, which is super awesome, is um, basically uh, pajama potluck with um, crafts, <laughs> is held by uh, Nikki Thomas. It's a $5 suggested, do suggested donation on December 14th, that is exactly one week from today, from 8 to 10 p.m. We're going to be making um, uh, ornaments for Christmas trees at this. Did you say so. ornaments? It can be ornaments. <laughs> it depends on what you want because it's basically here, make this shape. Now put rhinestones on it. So ornament, ornament away. <laughs> if you wish. December 16th, the Atlanta School of Burlesque is presenting its winter showcase and soiree where you will see the performances that were supposed to go on tonight, except for Fuck Falcons. Yeah. Hopefully this doesn't get taken down by Facebook because I have a very bad potty mouth. Um, I'm so sorry. 12-12, uh, 12, 12, I missed one. I'm, I'm trying to go uh, in order, but it's not written in order. Tease Tuesday and Naughty or Nice show at the Red Light Cafe is happening. I did not write down the time. That's usually at 8 o'clock, right? Tease Tuesday? Nine. 9? Oh, I'm sorry. Tease Tuesday is at 9 at Red Light Cafe, but I'm sure the doors are at 8. Yeah. Um, I already said that. The 15th, the men's room. We already talked about it, but it's super exciting. Um, the 21st, Burlesque Karaoke at Gaja, the holiday edition, will be held at 9.30 p.m., Gaja Korean bar. Not only do you get delicious Korean food, but you also get you to get have karaoke. <laughs> and if you don't want to be on camera, you need to <laughs> <laughs> um, I was saying Korean bar, but we'll also have burlesque karaoke. What is burlesque karaoke? It's you get to pick the song that we strip to. You can't go wrong. It's exciting. Um, and the 31st, uh, I'm sure that if she could be here, she would be. Um, Kitty Love is doing Cheeky Bells Burlesque Who, like a Doctor Who theme, at Tighten Up Rehearsal Studio in East Point, Georgia, which is, from what I understand, close to Hayville, for those of you who do not know. And uh, that is a New Year's party. The other New Year's party, which will be held at the Red Light Cafe at midnight, of course. Well, it'll be before midnight. Dr. Q, what time is does that party actually start? Eight o'clock. Eight o'clock. Um, is at the Red Light Cafe, the Gilded Age Gala, um, which is done by Speakeasy Electro Swing Atlanta. Also, Wa and DJ Dr. Q, who's handing me my food. Oh yeah, by the way, um, delicious food at Elliott Street Deli and Pub plug um, and so yeah that is would, would you like to talk can I add something to sure that? you can always add something to something so uh, since we're talking about the future of things and I used to announce the monthly shows here uh, at the uh, these <laughs> events uh, a couple of quick changes for next year for the speakeasy first it is no longer gonna be a monthly event so the New Year's party is the last one of the season and it is done uh, then uh, that, that's that's it. Uh, we're moving to quarterly as of next year. Uh, the other big change is I am no longer producing the show's uh, entertainment starting next year. Um, next year I am going to focus on my music and uh, just kind of the overall business side of things. Uh, Tallulah is going to be casting and taking care of all of the 
production work uh, as far as working with performers and everything else going forward. Um, I've, we've got uh, four seasonal shows. The first one is going to be called uh, the um, Speakeasy Electric Swing Atlanta presents the Royal Court of Jazz, a uh, jazz tribute show. The summers we're going to return to the Midsummer Night Speakeasy because uh, that was a hell of a lot of fun this year. Uh, in the fall we're going to be doing uh, a show called the Night Circus and uh, then we're going to be doing another Gilded Age Gala New Year's Eve party because they're a hell of a lot of fun. Uh, and that's it for me. Thanks. And I think that's it. I think we're done. If nobody else has anything they'd like to say. Um, yeah, all I can say now is make sure that you support your arts. Um, my plan is to get on a more reliable Wi-Fi in the future. And the monthly events will still be open to folks who want to do exactly what we're doing right now, except hopefully live. Um, just talk about their events, make sure that they are heard about, and um, basically create a lot of camaraderie and uh, brotherly, sisterly hood in our community. So thank you so much for your attention. I really hope to see you all at the monthly meetings, but also I hope to hear from you all about how you'd like to workshop and um, work on your your craft with us in the future. Thank you so much, you guys, and we'll see you at Metropolitan Studios.